All right, who won the giveaway? We have all your names and a random name picker right here. Chase, drum roll, please. And Ben Casey. Ben Casey, congratulations, Ben Casey. You won the Unforgettable. I think that was one of our YouTube comments, so we will be DMing you soon. Good job. Congratulations, Ben. All right, let's get into the show. What's up, everybody? My name is Super Campy, and this is my brother Chase, and this is Bros Talk Baseball. Today, we have Corey from Baseball Much on the show. Say what's up, Corey. What's up, everyone? Corey, tell me a little bit about uh, Baseball Much. Tell me what you do and stuff. So, I decided last summer that I was gonna start a baseball Instagram page, and I decided to post daily highlights on the page, and currently making a little brand off of the page, I guess. Nice, okay, cool, awesome. He's got his own hat on up there, you see that? Is that, oh, wait, wait, show it off. Oh, baseball much? Question mark? Yeah, get the merch. The trade deadline's coming up, so we're gonna spit at you guys some hypothetical trades. The big ones, like Machado, have happened already. Uh, you wanna go first, Chase, you wanna go first? Go for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I feel like I'm talking all the time. Well, you, you always talk a lot, so but, it's nothing new. Oh. Okay, fine, you you talk. I took uh, Nathan Evaldi out of all the trade pieces and I see him going to the Giants. The Giants have a lot of injury prone pitchers and they don't have much depth. I think bringing a solid piece like Evaldi from the Rays, he's not like the best pitcher in the market, but he's good enough that'll help out the staff. So you can get him for cheap too. I think the Giants will end up snagging him. What do you think, Corey? I, I did see Evaldi going to the Yankees actually. I mean, oh. he was already there. The Yankees need a starter, so. There was talks about them trading Sunday, right? But mm -hmm. I don't think that'll happen because I don't think anyone wants it. How's the farm system over there on the Giants? They're bringing up a lot of their young guys right now. Yeah, they, they're bringing them up already. But like, do they have pieces of trade? I'm sure, for I'm sure they have a couple pieces. The price tag's probably not that much, right? No, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. I think the, why the Yankees won't go for him is because they can get, they know they can get someone better. The Giants, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like the Giants, they've been pulling up all of their prospects, but like his price tag probably isn't really a high-end prospect. He's 28. He's yeah. he has a four ERA. Got guarding. good stuff. Stuff. Yeah. When you got good stuff, you can mix and mold. And the Giants kind of need someone like that. Yeah. Honestly, uh, I'll give you my trade uh, prediction. Brian Dozier to the Brewers. Dozier is entering his contract year. He's hitting 220. Measly 220, but he still has like 16 home runs. He's a leadoff hitter, you know, he's fast, he steals bases. He still gets the job done. Like, he's not the Brian Dozier that we remember from two years ago, where he's one of the best hitting second basemen in the league. But he still can add a veteran presence and a bat on any team. And I think that's what the Brewers we're looking to do by being interested in trading for Manny Machado. But now that Manny Machado's off the board, who's who's left? Well, Smelly Dozier, I think he's going to the Brewers. I see that happening. The one thing that sticks out to me is the Brewers don't have that good of a defensive infield. Something that overshadows Dozier is that he's a good defender. He's known for his bat, he's known for hitting the home runs, the little guy hitting home runs, leading uh -huh. off, you know, and stealing and, bases. Yeah. I think most importantly for the Brewers is that that's what they need, is that glove. I don't know, second base, shortstop, Villar. Is Villar really doing it this year? No. Not so much, yeah. yeah. I don't even know who their shortstop is. I think he's like a-, a Arcia. Arcia, yeah. is he doing it? I think he's injured right now, so. Yeah, see, <laughs> the bat does, definitely helps, but yeah, you're right. Like, the glove also adds yeah. a lot of I value. Think for for Dozier and for the Brewers, it's the best combination. Mm -hmm. All right, Corey, I know you kind of said the Yankees Evaldi trade, but do you got any more trade predictions that you might spit at us? Albert Abreu, Tyler Wade, and Quinn Frazier for Archer. On, for the Yankees, a little combo deal right there. Okay. And the centerpiece there is Clint Frazier. Yeah, or Tyler Wade. They're both very good prospects. I would say Clint Frazier, he was a first rounder. I think Tyler Wade's done more than Frazier in the MLB though. Personally, I would say Frazier is the better one. I don't know, I think Wade's might have Right. Like, Fra Frazier's a, a higher prospect, but Wade has more production in the MLB. How is Clint Frazier ever going to find playing time on the Yankees? Their outfield is just stacked, especially with Judge being who he is now. They probably didn't see Judge yeah. coming in and being a 
two-time All-Star Rookie of the Year MVP candidate. And where's Way going to play? Glaber Torres and, and Didi Gregorius, right? No, I don't know. And they're going to tr- probably sign Manny Machado in the offseason. So it's like, yeah, where is he going to play? Nowhere. Yeah, this is why the Yankees need to make this move is because this is their time right now. Yeah. They're young. They're good. They're they almost got, the best team They got in the some league. veterans on the team that'll, that'll help that playoff presence. Did you, did you hear me say they're almost the best team yeah, in the league? Yeah, yeah. They're they almost got, the best team. They got the veterans on the team that'll screw you. Wait, just ignore that? I don't know if you've been watching our videos, but we have this like running gag where I'm a big Red Sox believer and he's a big Yankee believer. They're good. They're a really good team. They're really good. They're team. just getting lucky. And they're always going back and forth on it. Like I said, I'm not a Yankee fan. You gotta no, be I just, careful. I'm just think the Yankees are better than the Red Sox. <laughs> okay, well, I, I know, I know you that, but you're yeah. wrong, obviously. Yeah, but you're right, though. They need to take advantage of this because this is their best shot that they've had in five, six years, wouldn't you agree? Yeah. And also, their fan base would just murder them if they don't make a move. Do the Red Sox make any moves? Do they need to? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, they are the second best team in the LB, so. What do you think, Corey? What, what team needs to make the biggest move right now? The Yankees do? I think the Red Sox and the Astros need uh, like a better bullpen. So. Yeah. The Astros especially. Well, let's talk about Joe the Kelly's biggest bullpen right. guy out there, Zach Britton. Where do you think he's going? I heard the Dodgers were out there. That's <laughs> I what I heard. Well, the Dodgers got a good connection with the O's already. So. Yeah, it's true. They have a they have a they good a strong bond, a strong good bond chemistry. There. They yeah. like each other. The funny thing is, I've seen articles and just like every trade target, you see the Yankees in there. The Yankees, <laughs> the Yankees, the Yankees. You see Britain, the Yankees. The Yankees. It's like head of the team. Why did the, the Yankees in the mix? The Yankees. Why do the Yankees need Britain though? They they don't. They don't. They have one of the best bullpens in the league already. They, they don't, yeah. They, they need that uh, that starting pitcher more they than really anything. They really do. Desperately. Archer. Like, pitcher. just Yankees, look, look at your team, okay? Listen to us. Go get Archer. If you don't get Archer, you're doing something wrong. Corey will come down there. Corey will rain down yeah. on you. Yankees. He's not, he's not selling any BM merch to you guys. No, no BM. <laughs> Blocking you on Instagram. Right, Corey? Or just throwing words in your mouth. <laughs> all right, guys. That's all we got today. Uh, thanks for watching the video. If you like that, please like, subscribe, comment, maybe your trade prediction. What do you think the next trade's gonna be? Are the Yankees gonna get Archer? Will the Brewers pull the tri- trigger on Dozier? Will that even matter? I don't know. Will Britain A lot of questions. come to LA? Oh. Thank you so much to Corey for joining us on the show. Uh, go follow his Instagram page, Baseball Much, for all baseball highlights. Corey, got any final words for the fans? Thanks for having me, and uh, stay tuned for more highlights on the Baseball Much. Dope, and go buy the merch. See you later. Peace.